All right, so fast forwarding just a little bit since my computer decided it was not going to process all the video that I took completing the plane, but it is now complete. I did lengthen the tail just a little bit, um, spent way too much time trying to get this V-tail linkage working properly and getting the same amount of deflection on both sides, only for it to end up coming off on the servo end and getting inside there with a couple tweezers was pretty fun. Um, not my worst paint job, pretty close, but not quite the worst. I'll probably touch this up because that actually bothers me, but I generally, color is usually a little, pretty low on my priority list because I have a tendency to move from project to project pretty quickly, so. Uh, plus you can't see what it, how bad it looks when it's in the air, so good enough for government work. Let's see what this thing weighs. 21.5. Twenty one point eight empty. Thirty one point four with the two cell, and if I decide to try to risk it with a three cell, that's convenient. Uh, so yeah, it's got a fifteen inch wingspan, and at the root it's two and a quarter inches. So the wing loading is right around one gram per square inch, and that's usually what I shoot for. So that should be just fine. So hopefully in the next couple days, the weather will cooperate. We've got those fires going up north and it's pretty smoky around here, but all I need is like five minutes of calm air and finally get this thing in the air. So hopefully, see you soon.